uh, welcome everyone uh, to this session so let's solve this very interesting interview question okay so basically we have a mosfet and a ideal op amp here and two register and the vt like the threshold voltage of this n mos is on volt okay and the uh, on resistance of this mosfet is zero okay zero ohm and the op amp supply is let's say five volt okay so this is five to zero volt okay now we have to draw the waveform of v out on and v out to okay and we have to vary the rd like the this value okay so what what would be your approach to solve this question basically whenever they, there is a op amp and there is a feedback kind of thing we we should find is there any negative feedback present or not okay so now we have to first check is there any negative feedback or not okay so for that we will we can find the loop gain okay to find that we can find the loop gain and the loop gain if the loop gain is, is having a negative sign then it is definitely a negative feedback but we are not going to write the loop gain equation we will try to solve intuitively okay so now for this circuit so to find the loop gain we know we we cut a high impedance node and traverse the loop and check uh, take check the voltage at this cutting node is negative or positive okay now here we can cut this node here right now if we increase the voltage at this gate of this uh, mosfet okay so now what will be the voltage at this node so basically from gate to source from gate to source this is a like a zero degree phase shift right so if this voltage is increases by small amount this voltage will increase by small amount as well right now this volt if this voltage is increasing so this voltage will also increase right and to to check the negative feedback all the dependent sources inactive right so this voltage will be grounded to zero volt and this voltage will be also grounded to zero volt okay so now we can see that for this op amp for this op amp the positive terminal voltage is zero and negative terminal voltage is increasing then what should be the output of this uh, 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 of this uh, output of this uh, op amp so actually this output will be going to decrease right because this non inverting terminal having higher potential than this positive terminal so the output will decreasing right so actually we have find that increasing this node voltage and we traverse the loop and eventually the node is actually decreasing right the node voltage is decreasing so there is this means they are present a negative feedback okay so in this circuit the feedback is negative okay negative feedback is present so now now the problem is becomes easier okay so basically this is a negative feedback circuit okay let me draw the circuit again so this is a so this is a negative feedback circuit and this is our v out to and this is also we can assume that this is the vs okay of this mosfet and this is our v out one and this is the video of this mosfet okay so now and this is a 1k resistance now if we have a negative feedback circuit here so this potential must be equal to this potential because of this virtual virtual short concept okay virtual short concept because this is the ideal op amp of gain infinity right so this potential will be equal to the this potential so we can see that the v out node will be same as on volt okay now question is what will be the current through this branch so this will be nothing but one volt minus zero volt divided by one k this will be i so this will be nothing but on milliamps right right so we can see that and they no current can go through this branch so there is a zero current so all of this current will flow through this way okay so this i will be on milliamps okay like until the negative feedback is present okay so we have find that okay let me draw the waveform here okay okay let me draw the waveform here okay so we have seen that the v out to will be equal to vs will be one volt okay until the negative feedback is present and i is nothing but there is only one i so this is nothing but one milliamps okay so let's draw the plot here 
so this is our v out two this is nothing but our vs okay and this is our v out one v out one and this is nothing but our vd okay now we have to vary this r d right okay let me now we can see that sometimes like if this like if this rd is increasing okay what will be the case we know that there is a fixed current so if we write a kvl here what will be the case so the i uh, like i will be nothing but 5 minus v out 1 divided by rd right now if we further solve it so it will be v out 1 will be nothing but 5 minus i into rd okay now if we increase this rd if we increase this rd what will be the v out so v out will be decreasing right in a li linear fashion right because this i is fixed due to this like the negative by the virtue of this negative feedback okay and uh, by the virtue of this uh, virtual sort concept okay the i is fixed okay until the negative feedback is present there so we can see that when the rd is zero okay when the rd is zero the v out is uh, five only right so let do that okay we will find we can find this rd or we can find it is versus time okay like the x axis can be uh, rd or time okay so you you, you know that right so generally we do that uh, like the v out versus time plot right but here if r is rd is varying so i am writing the rd parameter here as well okay so you will understand if I, when I draw the picture. So you can see that this voltage is on voltage. This voltage is 5 voltage. Okay. Now we can see that at a certain time when this voltage is going to like this voltage is going to decrease right V1. Now if this V1 becomes V2 after a certain time at a certain time what will be the case? We know that the if vd becomes vs then the id like the i becomes zero right so at that condition the mosfet becomes off okay the mosfet is off when vs equal to vd that means when v out v out on equal to v out two then our mosfet is off okay then there is no virtual short concept present there like when this two is equal and there is no feedback present right so now we have to find at which value of rd this v out on becomes v out two. okay so we, we know that the vs or v out on is on volt okay so when this v out like the this is the v out two, right now if vd become vs then our id is zero so let find the rd value for which the drain and the source voltage becomes equal okay so now so we have v out 1 will be 1 5 minus i is nothing but 1 milliamps into rd right so we can find that uh, uh, rd will be 5 minus 1 by 1 milli right so this will be uh, 4 kilo ohm okay 4 kilo ohm resistance so we have find that like we are increasing this rd from 0 to 25 kilo ohm right and after we, we we have we have seen that this current is fixed due to this negative feedback right like this is there is a strong negative feedback so this id is fixed now increasing this rd at a certain point of time this potential becomes equal to this potential so our v vsd becomes zero okay or the vds becomes zero okay so there the current must be equal to zero okay so if current is zero so there is no circuit like no feedback present right so this let's say this is this is open circuit so this is off so so okay so this will be circuit right so basically this is off so there is no feedback present anymore okay and this is our 4k 4 kilo ohm increasing like 4 kilo ohm plus okay so then like this is a this is a uh, like open circuit okay and open circuit okay so this is like infinite impedance okay so there is no feedback present here so suddenly 
like suddenly so this is uh, this was on volt plus minus so suddenly this voltage this voltage this v out to voltage becomes zero right because there is no current here right so there is no ir drop here so this zero voltage is there so the v out becomes v out to becomes zero when the rd is around 4 kilo ohm resistance then what will be this voltage here so we know that so there is no I, IR, IRD drop here or as well. So this 5 volt is reached there. So V out 1 becomes 5 volt. Okay. When the uh, RD is 4 kilo ohm. So let me draw there. So let's say here RD is 4 kilo ohm. Okay. RD is 4 kilo ohm. Okay. Like, like at a certain point of time. Okay. So now the, this was 1 volt until the RD was 4 kilo ohm. And when the RD becomes exactly 4 kilo ohm, it suddenly jumps to 0 volt. So, this 0 volt is appearing this node. So, this voltage is like the, uh, the resistance, the voltage across the resistance can change instantly, right? So, this voltage is suddenly go to 0 voltage. So, this will be the waveform, okay? Now, what will be the case? So, we have seen that the V out will be decreasing while increasing the RD. So, let's say it. And, and this curve will be linear, right? So, let's say this go to 1 volt, okay? Like this. And in this case, we can see that the V out 1 and V out 2 becomes 1. So, in this case, the ID, from here, the ID is 0. I is 0, right? From, from onward here. Now, we can see that this voltage, so this is, this is also RD and the RD can change uh, act, the potential across this suddenly. So, this voltage will jump to 5 volt again. Okay. So, this will be the case. And this will remain like this. Okay. So, this is the final waveform. Okay. So, this is a very good, inter like very, very good question for your intuition and the circuit behavior. Basically, we have to check 2, 3 conditions here. So, we are uh, finding, first we are finding, first we are, so, okay. Let me do, okay. So, first we are finding is there is a negative feedback or not. Then, if there is a negative feedback, we are applying virtual virtual short concept. Then, for this, I becomes 1 milliamps and this is fixed. Okay. Now, if RD is increasing, increasing, the V out 1 is decreasing. Now, at a certain end, and, and the V out 2 is fixed. The VS, right? This is V out 1. So, V out, v out 2 or the VS is fixed due to due to the negative feedback okay due to negative feedback now at a, at a at a certain time or at a certain certain value of rd the v out one becomes v out two that implies the i becomes zero okay so now we have to find the value of rd when this uh, i becomes zero so we have we have find that this will be four kilo ohm so at this at this at this rd resistance the there is no feedback present here no feedback present no feedback present in the circuit so no virtual short no virtual short concept can be applied okay so now the voltage across the resistance can change instantly okay so the rd reaches so the uh, v out on reaches 5 volt instantly and the so this will be one k right so and this v out to it reaches 0 volt instantly. Okay. So, this is the thing. And I have shown that uh, the time or the RD is, a, is x axis. So, you know that, right? The interpretation you know. So, basically, you can write this as a time axis and uh, point here the RD, RD is 4K, 4K here. And, or you can draw the RD itself as a x axis. Okay. And where, here we have, uh, we have, we are dealing about the uh, like the large signal analysis, right? Large signal analysis. So, this is the thing, okay? So, I think you like this video and please give your valuable feedbacks, okay? Thank you.